What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick introduction on how to graph exponential growth and decay functions. And we're specifically going to focus on natural base functions. So the natural base is just this number, the special number e. Right? So this number, it's kind of like pi. Right? So just like pi, and we can write it up here. So pi is equal to approximately 3.14. Right? And so e is approximately 2.72. Right? So that's what E is. Now the other two variables we need to look at are A and R. So whenever we're talking about exponential growth and decay, this number A, or this letter A, just represents a positive number. Right? So A is always going to be greater than zero in this case. And R is the main number that we want to focus on. Okay? So this will tell us if our equation is either growth or decay. So if r is bigger than 0, it's growth, like that. And if r is less than 0, so just a negative number, then it is decay. OK, so that's how you can quickly determine if these uh, equations are growth or decay. So for example, the two parent functions of the natural base e are y is equal to e raised to the positive x, and y is equal to e raised to the negative x. Okay, so here you can obviously see our r number is basically a 1, a positive 1, and then over here it's basically a negative 1, right? So since r over here is positive, we know that y is equal to e raised to the x is going to look something, eh, something like that. Okay, and then here since our r number is negative, we know it's going to look something like that. All right, I'm going to erase all this. Boom. OK, so now let's graph some functions. So let's start with y is equal to e to the 3x. OK, now for these, you're going to need a graphing calculator. All right, you can, if you want to, it's not going to be as accurate, but you can approximate e. So we could say this is the same thing as y is equal to. And then e, like I told you, is approximately 2.72, right? So this is raised to the 3x. So you could replace e just with an approximation, and then you could graph this, right? You can make an x, y table like that, plug in some numbers for x, and then see what pops out for y. But really, the more efficient way of doing this would just be plugging it into a uh, graphing calculator. OK, so that's what I'm going to do here, just so you get an idea of what these look like. So y is equal to e raised to the 3x. Is this exponential growth or decay? Well, this number, our r number, is greater than 0, so this shows growth. Right, And I have it graphed on this Desmos graphing calculator right here. And you can see I already plugged in the function y is equal to e raised to the 3x. And it shows exponential growth. Right, And the other thing that I wanted to point out is we always have an asymptote along the x-axis. Okay, None of these graphs are ever going to touch the x-axis over here. It'll get really, really close. It looks like it's actually touching it here, but the more we zoom in, uh, You'll see it just gets closer and closer, but it's never actually touching. Okay, let's try another one. So what if we had y is equal to e raised to the negative 2x? Okay, well, here r, as you can see, is negative. So this would indicate exponential decay, right? So then if we come to our graph over here, uh, you can see I already graphed it right here. And... As you can see, it is exponential decay, again, with an asymptote at the x-axis. OK, uh, let's try one more here. So what if we had, oops, let's say we had y is equal to 0 0.4 times e to the negative 0 0.25 times x. OK, so as you can see, our number out here, our a number is positive. We don't really care about that, though. OK, it could be any number. Just make sure it's positive. And then the number we really care about is our r number. So here you can see it's negative. So this will indicate, or it does indicate, exponential decay. Okay. So then if we look at the graph one more time over here, I already inputted it into the calculator. So you can see it does show exponential decay. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.